Mock. What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000, back in the place to be, and welcome back to Fate Grand Order. In today's video, let's take a look at the Ascension system. Now, I just got my Dion here up to max level, so 40 out of 40, and uh, I need to ascend her so she can go up to level 50. Now, what's required are these saber pieces right here. It's gonna cost me four, but I do have 10, so no big deal there. And it'll also cost me 50,000 QP. Once again, no big deal there, I almost have four million. So let's take a look at what happens here when we ascend a servant. All right, <laughs> anticlimactic. Ascension. Level cap has been increased. Oh, look at that. Armor. Sorry, I was talking. All right, so my armor got a little bit more intricate and we also got a new ability as well. Um, now, in order to get my next level of ascension um, to get up to level 60, I'll need uh, 10 of these saber pieces and then a few of these proof of heroes. So 18 of those uh, proof of heroes. Um, but as you can see, let's do a long press here. There we go. So as you can see, my armor got a little bit more intricate as well. And I have a new ability. So self-suggestion, remove debuffs and increase debuff resist for yourself. Okay, what else has changed here? So the artwork on my card itself has also changed. And here in this screen, you can also change it back to the old one or make it the new one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on the second stage. And then the same thing here, if I wanna go back to, does it show? Oh, this is just the icon. So if I wanna go back to my old icon, I can go back to the first and second stage there. Um, here is the profile, nothing too big here, I don't believe. Yeah, just all these bond levels, there we go. Character skin, so there you go. Nice touch, man, very subtle, but very cool. So um, that allows you to get the second stage of her armor. I'll, I'll definitely keep that on her. Let me lock her down, just in case something crazy happens, you know? <laughs> um, they're supposed to be, there it is right here, let's see this. Nice. <laughs> so as you can see, as you go through different levels of ascension, you'll also unlock some uh, different uh, little voiceovers. So that's pretty cool there. So that's my ascension with uh, Saber. We'll jump into some combat here in a second. Now, another thing that you have to do or uh, you need to plan to do, I won't be able to do it in this video, unfortunately. Um, but as you can see, I've unlocked this interlude quest. Now, as I understand it, these are um, little isolated story uh, story arcs that focus on that character in specific. Once again, I've never done it before. This is just what I've gathered from reading around. So this is a story arc that revolves around Dion here. Um, as you can see, it has a required level of 80. <laughs> um, so yeah, won't be doing that anytime soon. Um, and it looks like it takes 10 AP per, uh, per quest there. So that's something to look forward to as you ascend your characters to do their little interlude quest to learn more about them. So this game is super heavy on story, which I appreciate. Uh, it just makes the game just so much more fun. Let's see if this takes me directly to that location. Yep, it sure does. Um, but it just makes the game so much more fun and it gives context to what you're actually doing. Um, so what else do we need to do here as far as enhance? Let's go to skill. Good, uh, good, my girl here, what does this cost me? So I can go ahead and enhance this. This costs four of, what the heck are these called? The Gem of Swords. So I'm gonna go ahead and enhance that. I don't know why, to be honest. Let's take a look here. So we'll ascend her second ability. And I'll tell you why I don't know why I'm doing this. All right, skill level up. So, yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> so it says remove debuffs and increase debuff resistance on yourself, level one. The next one, same exact text, level two. What does level two mean? <laughs> like, do I remove debuffs or do I not? Do I remove like two levels of debuffs? One, I don't, like I don't understand the difference between level one and level two in some of these abilities here. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, how much debuff resist do I get that's, you know, from level one and level two? I just don't know. Can I long press abilities? Yeah, it just doesn't really tell me and the cooldowns don't change either. Um, these go all the way up to level 10, but I could not tell you what the difference is between those two abilities. It just 
cannot tell you. Um, all right, so let's go and do some combat really quick here to end the video. So we can see her in her new little outfit. We'll go into daily quest. And, uh, oh, that's perfect. I need to do this uh, 20 AP one anyway. And that'll get me two gym prisms and some more um, experience points for Saber. So they have, doo -doo -doo, we'll go, we'll go Assassin. Oh yeah, Carmilla. Oh yeah. I kind of want to save Carmilla for a different video though. <laughs> kind of want to don't, I don't want to do Carmilla right now. Let's do an Archer. Um, yeah, we can do Aster here. Let's do this one. That's fine. I don't really care too much about her. I, I want to do Carmilla in her own separate video because I think she's amazing. Really good artwork on the character. Her, her noble phantasm has like, it's it's a really cool animation. It's super powerful. Love to do it. Um, so she's going to get her own separate video. So, let's go. This will be pretty straightforward because like I said, this is all level 20. But we'll take it seriously. So that's my new ability there. Looking good, looking good. Cards look good, everything looks good. Let's do this. You should be able to one-shot that. Beautiful. So there she is, new and improved and ascended. Oh, needs a little bit of damage here, not a lot. Eh, I guess we'll go quicks. Build up some crit for the next round. On to the next one. So these stages are just pretty much designed for you to just kind of run through them and get experience points to level up your characters. So nothing too cray cray. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, increase the effectiveness of my quick cards as well as my crit um, acquisition. And then we're gonna go quick arts quick. So we can take a look at her four hit combo chain. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> All those crits for no reason. <laughs> and then we can go, we can go buster, buster, buster. Aw, oh, come on! <laughs> you ruined my combo. I don't know if the Noble Phantasm changes at all once you've ascended, but we'll take a look at it anyway. Doubt it. We'll do it this round here. And hopefully we can do a four hit combo chain. I'm pretty sure we will. We'll go after this Berserker in the back. Yes, we can. Just for giggles, power up. And then we'll go Feudalis. Or yeah, we'll do Feudalis first because it does defense down. Then we'll go Arts and then we'll go Buster. Four hit combo chain, let's go. Anything different? No, nope, nothing different, same animation. Very nice. And then, what we'll do, let me see what this looks like. Not that it really matters. Yeah. Not that it really matters. All right, so, I'm pretty sure you can one-shot that. Then we'll go Buster, Buster, Buster. Nice job. And that is GG. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> and there you go. So that is my Ascended Dion. Oh, I'm about to level up. Oh, yeah, I got my AP back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that feels so good when you're playing the game and you refill your uh, your AP when you level. You're just like, man, I can play for another few hours now. If you're doing the story. Now, if you're only doing like the daily quest, you're probably gonna get like 10 minutes of gameplay. I'll be real with you. But if you're still playing the story, you can get a couple hours of gameplay. Um, so that will do it. So, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'll probably, from this point, uh, since I got all of the Mystic Prisms already, except for that 10, 
I mean, I can keep on grinding it, but eh, I don't know. It might make more sense to go on and just do these events instead. That way I kind of maximize how many prisms I get. I don't know, I have to kind of, I'll have to do some research on that to see what's a better use of it. Um, but these experience card sets are pretty awesome, I must say. Um, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Like, let's say, put yourself in my position. Would you, in this situation, continue to level up your Saber uh, servant? Or say, screw it, I'll level her up another day and start working on these event quests instead with your AP. Because, you know, AP is a very, very limited resource. So um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, also, let me know, are you guys doing these treasure vault quests as well? Because I don't, I'm not low on QP at all. I've been like really, really high. I guess that might become a problem later on, but I just don't have a reason to do any of these. So I really have been kind of not avoiding it. I just can't afford to do them. <laughs> um, so kind of let me know what your thoughts are on that. Once again, guys, my name is FG3000. Thank you so much for watching. This is Fate Grand Order. Once again, cannot stress enough. Highly recommend the title. Check it out. And I'll see you guys next video. Later.